I'm going to make a stamp using cereal boxes. This was the Mott's uh, box of snack treats. So I'm gonna start off with one big piece, but I gotta figure out what kind of image on here. It could be anything, it could be a dinosaur, it could be a boat, it could be a cat, it could be a dog, whatever it is that you want it to be, okay? I think I'm going to make a flower. Hmm. So let's see. So I'm gonna draw it out. Maybe I want this kind of deal. And then I'm going to cut it out. Just cutting out the outline. It doesn't have to be exact. And then I'm gonna use my scraps and I'm going to add in layers. So it'll, so when I put paint or, or ink on it, it'll make a stamp on whatever surface I'm going to stamp it on. There's my main piece. Now what I could do, and I can sketch these out, is maybe remake these or just make them a little bit smaller. Cut those out and glue them on and it's going to take a good couple hours or a day even for these to all dry so i could just you know glue that on right there i can even make a smaller one to put right on top of that one let's see what that would look like i'm just going to make up this cut just because i'm on a roll here maybe make it a little bit smaller something like that. So I don't know if you can, there we go. That might be better if you can see it. There's the first layer and there's the second layer on top. And I can do that going all the way around. Um, maybe I can put some different things in the middle. Now, if I'm trying to cut out a bunch of things at once, ooh, a hole puncher would be great because I could hole punch a bunch of circles and put them in the middle and layer them on. But you do want to layer them up. You don't just want one glued on here. You want two or three or four or five layers glued on. 